know that this simple punch card can be knitted using four different techniques. Today I will show you how to use it to knit drop lace and at the end I will show you what the result would be if you use the other knitting techniques. You can find this information in the Deco catalog. This card is number 199 in the Deco catalog and 1016 in the E6000 manual. I have already made a video of how I'm making punch cards by using this online generator but if you haven't watched it you can click in the upper right corner. There you will find the link for all of the 6000 punch cards and you will learn how to download the Duomatic ones for free. The card is almost ready. Now we have to draw an arrow to mark the right side to insert it. My arrow is pointing towards the wrong side and I will tell you why the orientation of the arrow is important at the end of the video. First make sure the racking handle is in its lowest position. Now raise the desired number of needles on both beds of the machine. For this demonstration I will use 80 needles on each bed. Make sure the needles are arranged according to the needle roll. Place the edge springs on the last working needles. I will set both locks to N and the stitch size to 4.5. Insert the orange strippers and take the main yarn. Since this is only a test piece I will make a racking cast on. Now I will increase the stitch size to 5 on both locks and I will need several rows. You can start by knitting several rows of ribbing then continue with the lace. After knitting the needed rows I will rotate the racking handle to the transferring position. Before starting to knit the lace we have to transfer all stitches to the needles on the back bed of the machine. Drop the front bed and attach several weights to the knitting. Don't forget to support me by liking the video. Place the edge springs to the end needles and return the racking handle to its lowest position. On the front bed raise pushers and the row needles in working position. Push the trip cam for the row counter to the left as far as it can go. Attach the card reader to the center of the rail. Now take the punch card and insert it until you hear a click. The sensing feelers must be arranged for the first row of the card. Slide the deco to the right, attach it to the front lock and set it to 4. Now you have two options. If you are using Passa Pass you can set the front lock to HX. Then set the stitch size between 4 and 6. This will make the lace holes bigger or smaller. Leave the back lock set to N and the stitch size to 5. Remove the orange strippers and insert the black ones. Now knit two rolls. Detach the front lock and knit two rows with it. The stitches on the front bed will drop. Attach both locks again and knit two rows. Now again knit two rows with the front lock only. Then continue repeating these steps until you reach the desired length. If you are not using a pass up pass and you want to automate the process set the front lock to HX and the stitch size between 4 and 6. Set the back lock to BX and press the left arrow key. Make sure you have one empty eyelet selected. 
On the back bed, raise pushers and the row working needles and put them in resting position. Now knit two rows with the yarn, then take the empty eyelet and knit two rows. Continue knitting and change the eyelets whenever possible. When the eyelet with the yarn is in the jaws of the lock, the machine will knit and when you take the empty eyelet, the machine will drop only the stitches on the front bed. This is for sure a faster way to knit this lace. This is technique 256 on the E6000. If you haven't connected the punch card into a loop, you have to pay attention to the card reader. You have to reset the card as soon as the sensing feelers are arranged in a straight line. The lock and the deco device must be on the left side of the card reader. After you reinsert the card, you can continue knitting. And this is the final result. You can make the holes bigger by increasing the stitch size on the front lock. Tell me, do you like it in the comments below? This is how it would look if you start with ribbing in the beginning. This is a test piece made following the instructions in diagram A in the deco catalog. You have to use two colors and change them every two rows. This true lace is made by following the instructions in diagram F. I made it by using the U80 lock. You have to transfer the stitches on every two knitted rows. Now you can compare the drop stitch lace and the transfer lace. They both look great. And the last part is made by following the instructions in diagram K. It looks like pleats for a skirt to me, but tell me what is it in the comments below. As you can see in the example, the image is a bit off-center. I figured out where the problem came from, so I will tell you. If you haven't already noticed, I have inserted the punch card from the wrong side. That's why when making DIY punch cards, make sure always to draw a narrow with a sharpie with the right orientation of the card. Otherwise, you will need to double check this every time or need a lot of test pieces. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day and see you in my next video.